when you are doing this, the same thing applies as when you were doing the crural fascia, when we were doing this with a big sweep, is I have to get down pretty close in order to be able to use my chest muscles with the work that I'm doing, rather than being up here and trying to do it with my arm muscles, which you, if you're vibrating, uh, you're not doing it correctly. However, there is a way to make this a little bit easier. Let me show you. This gives you the opportunity to either work in and out with the tissue and also for her to work with the tissue. Go up on the balls of your feet, lift your heel up. That's good, go down now, lift the, put the heel down, lift the front of their foot up and then put the front of the foot down, lift the heel up. And in this way I can work again, up the outside, down the inside, up the inside, down the outside whatever direction I'm going, but I do it by working against the uh, restraint of the yoga belt, and that makes life a little easier. Otherwise, you really do want to get down close. And we can do this also, stabilizing um, the foot with my third hand. I can go just inside the shin bone. You see how I'm finding the shin bone and just going just inside, finding the fibula bone and going just behind, just inside of it. And now in between my hands, I have that deep posterior compartment. So now heel up, heel down. Good, heel up, heel down. That's good. Okay, so just so you can see the inside hand, I will want to show you I'm really not just going anywhere behind the tibia. I'm going to the back side of the tibia. It makes a difference how precise you are. So really right behind the tibia, right behind, right behind. I'm getting hold of that and getting hold of its opposite on the outside and now without the yoga belt I'm just using my hands. That's right. Just lift the heel and drop the heel lift the heel and drop the heel, lift the heel and drop the heel. 